Hey folks, welcome to today's webinar. My name is Jonathan. I'm going to be running you through uh, the new takeoff and estimating tool on the House Pro Suite. Estimating is not that new, but I'm going to be showing you how yeah, you can integrate your material takeoffs with the estimates on House Pro and how you can send a professional looking bids to your clients uh, and really streamline that whole process. So I'm just going to share my screen here with you guys. So today's guest, yeah, there's myself, Jonathan. Uh, to, to kind of give you a bit of background on me, over the last uh, well over 10 years, I've been involved in construction in one way or another. So I started out on the tools. Uh, I eventually worked my way into the office and, and started on the kind of project management side of things. Uh, then over the last, say, five years, I turned my attention to helping small to medium-sized construction contractors with their takeoffs and estimating. So, you know, I've seen jobs big and small, uh, and I've kind of seen what a time suck that can be for guys who are, who are you know, ultimately who are out on site, who are managing teams, you know, that they need to come home then at night or over the weekends to do their takeoffs and their estimates. Uh, it can be quite stressful, and, um, you know, we're, we're excellent with our hands we can you know frame frame a house hang doors you name it but you know when it comes to that takeoffs and estimating piece it's so critical it's such an integral part of the job that it just has to be right so anything that that we can provide you guys to to help you out with that is going to be very beneficial so what we're going to be doing uh, in this uh, webinar is just the the how to streamline everything the live demo will consist of just running through concrete, drywall, cladding, and roofing. And then I'm going to show you how you can send that to the estimates, input your, your material price, and then send over a really nice uh, bid at the end of the whole process. So I'll jump into the House Pro Takeoff tool now. So here we are. Um, so this is a project that I, I've uploaded and I've done a bit of work on. So you can see, uh, you know, basically the outputs that we're looking to, to get here. So I'm going to run through in the demo, just basically how to, to get all of these things from your you know strip footing to your concrete slab, how to add in additional dimensions. Uh, so, you know, you can get your yeah, volume of concrete, your cubic yards or your, your total square footage of drywall. So, just I'll do a quick bit of housekeeping. Um, on the left-hand side here, you'll see all of the plans that make up that PDF. So, you know, if you've got uploaded, you know, a PDF and you've got, say, 20 pages, they'll all end up here. You can rename them, rotate them, duplicate them, uh, sorry, clone them, uh, you know, which I'll show you how to do now. So th these are all the kind of the, the features that are going to help streamline it. Your line width, uh, I'll show you in a minute uh, where that can be helpful. Uh, I suppose one thing to be quite mindful of is the page scale. So on House Pro, we're automatically going to read the page size uh, that, that you've uploaded, whether that's A0, A2, A3, whatever it might be. What you then need to do is set the page scale. So here we've got a quarter inch is equal to a foot. Uh, and we're automatically set as that, as it's the most common page scale, uh, particularly in the residential sector. But if you just click this, uh, um, you know, drop down here, you'll see every every scale that you can think of uh, within these uh, options. So once you hit the correct one, everything will be calibrated, and the measurements you do will be um, a hundred percent accurate. Uh, then you're sorry, I'm, I'm doing it here without even commenting on it. You're zoom in, you zoom out, uh, or down here. So the more you zoom in, obviously, the, the more accurate you can be getting to those points. Uh, up here is your toolbar, which we'll run through in a minute. If you've uploaded, say, multiple drawings, say you've got your structural drawings, your architectural drawings, maybe a finishing schedule, you'll be able to see them in this drop down here. So if you click this, uh, it'll all appear uh, in here. Very handy to know. Uh, and again, just another little nice uh, thing thing to be aware of uh, if you click these uh, drop downs here you will kind of maximize your use on the page something i'll point out as well uh, i'm going to be very kind of high level i'm going to run through all the tools but we've got a learning hub if you click on this button here it's going to take you to the most commonly asked questions uh, so you know if, if you haven't found an answer here that you're looking for uh, there's a very good chance it is in the learning hub so be sure and check that out uh, uh, when you are on the house pro uh, website so what i was saying earlier was you can clone this page so you can see we've done a lot of uh, measurements on it here so it'd be very difficult to add to it you know it'd be quite cluttered so what you can do then, so say we'll just call this our concreting takeoff. 
you check these three dots here on this window, and then you've got rename page, clone page, or delete page. So in this uh, instance, we're going to clone it. And we've got the exact same uh, plan again, which is blank, obviously. And we can then just continue to do work on this. And this is going to be you know, really helpful if you need to you know, do your concrete takeoff, as we just said. Or we're going to rename this, and we're going to call it a uh, try walk. Good. Uh, so and it's just going to help you differentiate everything. So you just see it here, draw up, perfect, uh, and, and it's very, um, you know, uh, intuitive and easy to use. So to run through the tools uh, as we have them up here, uh, for the drywall, we're going to do, say, your length tool. So you click on this, the ruler icon, and then one of the things that we want to get uh, through to people as soon as possible is you can create groups. So this will allow you to put individual measurements into a folder. So in this case, we're going to create group. Uh, uh, we'll call it drywall. Uh, give it a nice color. We'll give it a nice dark blue. And here's where you can create your favorites. So if this is something you're going to measure every time you upload a set of uh, plans to house, you just hit add to your favorites. But if it's something quite unique or you know specific to an individual pro project, then maybe don't add it to your favorites just to avoid the clutter of it all. But anyway, there you go. It's added to your favorites. You create your group. Uh, we have it selected. So you can see it here in your groups. Drywall is selected. Uh, so the links tool works like this. You click to start. Click to drop a marker and change direction, and then you can double click to finish. And you'll see up here. So there's your, your polyline one, but it makes up this group drywall. So you've got 23.2 lineal feet. And then you can just keep going around uh, the house and you can just keep adding to that um to that folder. And you know, this is just such a time save. If you can imagine um having to do this with a uh, scale ruler and your, your highlighter, and every time you make a measurement, you're adding it to your notebook. But look, it's just all adding up in here, uh, you know, 68 lineal feet for, for that. Uh, as I was saying there at the beginning, you can then, you know, increase uh, the line size, The you know, if you just want to make it stand out a bit more and just keep going on it. So, you know, this, uh, I, I was talking to, to, to guys and they just say the amount of time and, and headaches that this has saved them, uh, it's just been it's just been a real game changer for them. Um, just uh, you, know, you keep going around and as I said uh, it's all here uh, in, in very manageable and what I said there earlier as well so I've done the concrete so if you uh, have started a takeoff on Sunday afternoon you've got a bit of spare time and you've started your takeoff and then you've got uh, an office day planned on Wednesday, everything is automatically saved to your House Pro account. So you can go away and come back and you can add a quick drop of a, you know, click of a button. You can see exactly what you've done the takeoff for and you can get right back into it. So I know from, from you know, my own experience when I have been doing takeoffs manually, you know, if you leave it for an hour or a day or a week, you know, you come back to it and, and it almost takes you, you know, 20, 30 minutes to get back into it. So it's just another uh, real benefit that we've seen with this. Um, and what I'll show you now is, so you've got your, your, your lineal footage of your drywall, what you can do here as well. So uh, again, what you do is check this box. You can duplicate any measurement that you've done. Um, so let's just call this um, moldings. Uh, if you've done your perimeter of the rooms, chances are it's a you know it's it's a pretty fair reflection of your molding. So you can just duplicate it, uh, and you've got that same measurement again, 118 lineal feet. Um, and it's just about kind of working a bit smarter as opposed to harder. So you don't need to do the same measurements over and again. What you can then do with the drywall is you can check this box here, and this will allow you add additional dimensions. So for this house, let's uh, go ahead and say that the, the walls are nine feet, five inches, and that will do the multiplication for you. So you're, you're, you're eight, 118 lineal feet, and then you see down here is you've got uh, seven, uh, 1,117 square foot of drywall that you're gonna need to do for this project uh, on, on this set of drawings. So it's just, it's really helpful to, to get that across, uh, just, to, to help you do the calculations. Again, you know, think about what you have been doing, you know, uh, multiplying things. Did I add the right dimensions? Did I account for uh, all the right things? So it's just a, it's a real time save.
what I'll do now is I'll just show you quickly how you can say uh, get the 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 slab for this house. So you know your concrete one, as we've done here. I'm just going to show you how how I did that, uh, but on, on this uh, page here. So what you want to do is you want to select your polygon in this instance, and remember we added that group to uh, the favorites. So every favorite you've done, it will be in this drop down menu. So you'll just be able to see everything in here or anything that you've done that pertains to this project. So everything will be done in here. So again, uh, if you just click the, the icon, the polygon itself, hit the drop down, you'll see everything that, that, that works in here. So you just hit concrete slab in this instance. Again, if you zoom in, uh, it's going to make it a, a lot easier to see. So we just traced the, the outline of the house for the concrete slab click to start click to drop a marker and change direction and we just follow the outline of the house here um, and this is going to be your concrete slab and again just think of uh, how long this might take you if you had your your, your pen and pencil or your, your highlighter here double click to finish and then you'll see the, the total square footage of the concrete slab. So again, what you want to do there is if you wanted to get your uh, volume of concrete that you're going to need to order for this job, you can simply, uh, the same as we did with the drywall, click this icon here, and then we can add in six inches uh, for, that's what we know that the, it is. And then you've got your, your cubic yards of concrete that you're going to need for the job. So again, it's just making things so much faster, so much more streamlined. And you see it all there. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, marked out for you to go back and, and review, go out on site and make sure that you've got everything boxed off. Um, uh, before we head on, what I'll do is I'll show you the, the count items. Again, this is uh, fairly uh, obvious, does what it says in the tin. So you just hit the count items. Um, and let's say we've got doors that we want to count. You give it a color, uh, give it an icon to represent it on the plans, add it to your favorites if you want. And you just go around and click on your doors uh, and, you know, put this in uh, for, you know, double doors here and this is just going to give you a total a tally for for all the doors that you need for the project uh, and if you've got it say over multiple pages on the project you'll be able to merge them together to get your total of your doors so we'll run on to the roofing here now um again to get the area of this roof that's uh, pretty easy so it's a rectangle shape get your rectangle Go down, uh, find roof, perfect. Click, drag and drop. And then you've got your area of your roof here. And um, what you can do as well, you know, same as the drywall or the concrete, you check your box and you can add in a pitch. So I know that this one is uh, you know, four over 12 uh, and that will give you, again, it'll just do the multiplication for you. So you've got your total square footage. So if you need to get your order, your roof materials, whatever it might be, uh, you can do that here. Uh, again, uh, maybe you need to calculate your um, hips. Simple as. And again, you can also put in a, um, um, a pitch on that. So again, four over 12, and it'll just give you your total uh, lineal footage for your hips. So again, it's just making things a, a lot easier to, to maneuver. So what I'll show you now is just how to, to use maybe the deduction tool. So what I'll show you now is to how to use the deduction tool. So I've already, again, done a little thing out there. So uh, let's say we've got your, your polygon for your siding. And I'll do this pretty quickly uh, just to, to show you what exactly you can do with it. So your polygon, click to start, click to change direction and double click to finish. Again, you'll see everything up here. Uh, so for the deductions, if you need to take out these windows, you just click the deduction tool and it works like the rectangle. Click, drag and drop. And that overall area will be deducted from, from the, the purple area there, which is your siding. So it's just, again, it's going to help you out for, for when you're needing to order materials. So if you need to take out your windows and your doors. Um, and look, that's all of the that's all of the tools on the canvas. So, you know, really, I suppose, 
easy to use. And um, I hope you can see how you can use any of those uh, tools to get your ultimate, the, the material takeoffs that you're looking for. Um, and just, you know, again, how that's going to streamline the whole, the whole thing. What I'll do is I'll show you the review and estimate. So here you can email the markups to yourself. So any work you've done on the canvas, you email the markups to yourself and it will be sent through to you with a legend. You can send that on to the guys on site or you can send it on to the clients themselves. It's really, you know, it, it really brings the project to life. Uh, it's a really great feature. So I recommend uh, checking that out. And then you can just see here exactly what uh, what's, um, you've done on the canvas. So if you're happy with that, you can, you know, start a new estimate. Uh, you can combine groups or leave them separate. So if you've got groups uh, from the same from the same group over different pages, by combining them, you'll get project totals, and uh, again, really handy for you. So this will then drop you onto the estimate uh, page itself. So it'll bring across all of the materials that you've done from the takeoff, uh, and you can see them all here. So again, I've done a bit of work on this and it's the beauty of it. Uh, you can come back to any estimate that you've been doing, uh, review it and, and make amendments to it. So you'll see like my logo there, my, my company name, my address. You can put in anything you want there. This is just going to look really, really professional and just show you exactly, you know, or show your customers exactly what you've you know, accounted for in the, the estimate and in the bid price itself. So it does give uh, customers a real sense of, you know, this guy's put in the work. Um, I, you know, I trust uh, what I'm seeing here when you can see everything done out. So just to give you an idea, the settings, you can choose uh, exactly what to show on, on this. So, you know, if you wanted to take out your, your labor, whatever it might be, your unit, your quantity, you can, you can just make that all um, apparent here. So say for your, you, you know, your hips, if you're doing you know, 20 bucks a lineal foot uh, and then your drywall, 250 per square meter. Um, you know, you can just keep working down through it and you can just really quickly, really easily add a whole, um, you know, get a whole estimate together and send out a bid. So if you wanted to put in, say, a blanket markup, you can do so here. Oh, uh, so you just put it in here as a percent of the, the price itself. So maybe it's 10 percent. And I'll just add it the whole way down and you'll see exactly um, on the material price which will add then to the total. So it's a 10% markup. You know, you can play with it and work out what it is that you want to do yourself. So um, really, really handy. So you can go down through it. And then some of the things which you can do, so as add line items. So for example, if you needed to do, you know, uh, site preparation or disposal of materials, waste materials, you can add them in here and just create a, a kind of a more well-rounded bid as well. Uh, things that you've been used to using on the House Pro system, which are fantastic, you know, schedule payments or request deposits, all can be done through the system itself. Uploading files, if you wanted to upload photos or, you know, additional documents, you can do so here. Putting your terms and conditions in uh, and just everything that, you know, you've been used to using. Request a client signature, so you can do that as well here. And, you know, you can just get started uh, on the job as soon as they've received it. So that's basically all of it. I'll show you what it kind of looks like ultimately. So yeah, look, that, that's what you're going to be sending out to, to the clients. Um, and again, as I said, that's going to, you know, they'll, they'll feel quite uh, at ease when they see the effort that you've put into this. Uh, you can also attach those marked up drawings. Um, and then, yeah, everything is here. So what you can do, uh, if you wanted to send it out, you can hit your share. You can email it directly from your house account or you can get a link. Uh, you can send them to this link uh, or export it as PDF and you can shoot it across as an email yourself. So look, that's kind of a, a really quick overview of the new takeoff tool that is at your disposal in the House Pro uh, software suite. Uh, I really encourage you to jump in and, uh, you know, you know, get your hands dirty with it and see how easy it is to use. If you do get stuck, we do have the, the, the help center. Uh, alternatively, you know, reach out to one of the reps, you know, that they're, you know, past masters at it at this stage. Now they're really competent and they're, they're really looking forward to helping you out. If you do have any questions, I'll put my email in the, the link for the webinar, you know, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to run through it uh, and show you how it can work for your business. Uh, thanks for tuning in today, gang. Uh, I look forward to working with you guys in the future.